Jay, for you, man, how important was it? You guys have kind of been struggling with y'all shot games one through three. How important was it for you to try to get that quick start, man, and kind of help the team, you know, with the shooting, the shooting as well in that first quarter? Well, it's very important. I just want to come out with a good start and, and bring the energy. I mean, when you bring energy, it makes the shots much easier for everybody. So uh, I think we lacked that a few, few, few games and uh, just put more pressure on our shots. So you bring energy and fly around. Uh, that makes shots much easier. And I, that was a point of emphasis uh, for me tonight. For sure. I, I just felt like a good start was going to help us, especially at home here. Um, a good start was going to help us uh, get confidence that we need everybody. And from that point on, uh, take, it, take it throughout the whole game. Donovan, uh, first three minutes of the fourth quarter, you come out and score 13 points in a 15-1 run for the Jazz. What, what, what was kind of your mindset as you opened the quarter? Or what, what were you trying to do specifically? Um, just to be aggressive, you know. Um, I got pretty upset myself when after I, you know, kind of fell off a layup that I should have had on, on, on James, you know, trying to anticipate a foul. You know, he's got to be stronger than it. It's the playoffs, you know, and that's really what really got me going in my mind and continue to attack, you know, <laughs> find the right man, make the right play, you know, whether it's a shot or, or, or a pass, whatever it may be. Mr. Mitchell, you told us on Monday that you weren't, uh, that three and oh, was, you know, nobody's ever came back from that. But, you know, you've seen people come back from three to one. Did you have that type of mindset coming into this game? You said you weren't going to lay down and you yeah. came out that type of energy. Not, not at all. You know, I think that's not who we are. We've had our backs against the wall plenty of times in the past two years. We've been together as a team. You know, I think this is familiar ground with us. And I think, you know, everybody responded the way we expected them to. But the biggest thing for us is to take what we did today and multiply it because I think we could play even better. You know, I think we can do a different things better. They got a few open looks, you know, but I think if we uh, continue to play with the effort and intensity like we play with tonight and game three, mm -hmm. um, anything can happen. Uh, both Faves and Rudy, wh wh why have you guys as a team been able to play so well defensively these last couple games? Uh, physicality. You know, I think the first two games in Houston, we started the games a little soft. And, uh, that's not who we are. The fact that we lost the first two games, maybe we had a pride, reaction of pride, and we came out ready. You know, game three, we were ready. Tonight, we were ready. And uh, game five, we're going to be ready. Yeah, um, like Rudy said, we just came out and took our bumps and bruises in the first two games, went back, watched film, went to practice, figured it out. And, um, you know, just came back and played better. I, I think the guards did a great job of, you know, um, guarding Harden and guarding CP out there and making it tough for them and me and Rudy. Uh, protecting the realm. So I think it was just a, a great team effort for us. Donovan, after uh, game three, Kyle said what he said about you, and then uh, your other teammates came in and uh, offered encouragement. How much does that encouragement from your teammates uh, boost you into today's performance? You know, I've played with an, a lot of close friends, you know, and the support I've gotten since I arrived um, from not just the community, but my teammates, you know, it's been huge. Um, you know, me being able to do what I do on a daily basis is not the norm. You know, in this league, a second year guy, even a first year guy last year, and my teammates have had my back with every mistake, with every uh, everything that I've done well. You know, and I think when you have that support system, and not just my teammates, but coaches in the organization, but when you have that support system in the locker room every day, you know, it makes, it makes it easier, you know, <laughs> like it, it makes it easier when you, you start off the game with two straight turnovers. You know, it makes it easier when you, sometimes like with Jay, sometimes it's vocal, sometimes it's leading by example. You know, with Rudy, it's, it's sometimes it's vocal, sometimes it's leading by example. You know, having guys you can look to. You know, Kyle, I've asked him a thousand questions since he's been here, just about whatever. You know, and being down 3-0, we, we had a talk. You know, Epe's been great. Um, I have so many resources I can go to and as a, as a, a player who wants to learn. I'm, I'm trying my best to find ways to learn. And it's not always going to be perfect. You know, but to have your teammates, you know, have your back through the ups and downs is, uh, means the world. Derek, for you guys to out-rebound them by 17, outscore them in the paint by 30, was that, uh, you know, part of the game plan coming in is to reestablish dominance down low? Well, yeah, they play, <clears throat> they play pretty small a lot. So, um, you know, Coach wanted me and Rudy to basically, you know, get the offensive rebounds, um, protect the paint. And when we get a chance, when um, pick and roll action with Donovan, Ricky or Joe, whoever, um, get the ball in the paint and score, basically. So just taking advantage of our size and um, it's working for us.
Rudy Quinn subs you out a few minutes with a few minutes left. What was your initial reaction to that? And then kind of what was your, I guess, reaction to watching Fave do what he did at, in, in the last few minutes? I mean, uh, as a competitor, I was surprised at first, but we all know that Derek Favors can play. You know, Derek, was, Derek is a, it's a great player. And to me, the starter, I see him as a starter. He will start in probably 80% of, of the NBA teams. You know, it's a... So when he's on the floor and I'm on the bench, you know, of course I want to be out there, but he's, he has a great game. He's, the team is winning, and that's all. That's the most important thing, you know. That's that's all that matters. And it's a long series. We know that we're gonna need everyone. You know, we know that some games Joe's not gonna play very well. It's gonna be Royce. Some games gonna be Joe's. Tonight, Faye was great. Faye finished the game. We won the game. You know, it's it's a long series, and that's why the I think the deepest teams. Are the best teams, you know, in the playoffs. Can, can I say, not a lot of all-star quality centers would say that, and I think everybody should listen to that. Like no one, not a lot of all-star centers would say something like that, you know. And I give him credit for that. Mr. Crowder, um, your, how, how does it feel to you to have your coach insert you into the starting lineup? the last two games and with the energy that you have. And you came out uh, with a lot of energy tonight. I mean, I'm ready for any role, obviously, um, for to help our team succeed. Um, when he made the adjustment, obviously, I wanted to, to, to bring something and, and stop us from having a slow start, whether it be bring energy. And I think that was, that was the biggest thing we were lacking at the time was energy. And those guys came to punch us in the mouth the first two games with, with just their energy alone. And I just wanted to match that as much as possible. Guys, for anyone in, in English, uh, how important was uh, Ricky Rubio tonight? Because he was all over the the, the court. Um, you know, Ricky didn't smile all day. You know, and Ricky is pretty, you know, happy you know, or go lucky. I'd say he wasn't happy, but you know, he had this look that's just like, you know, determination. You know, and you know, obviously none of us have really shot it well all series, but for him to come out and continue to be aggressive, continue taking shots. Um, finding the right guys, you know, um, when he sees Jay's got to go and keep finding him in transition, uh, finding him in certain plays. That's that's his role. That's that's he excels in that. You know, finding guys, knowing the game, knowing how to control the game, um, and he's he's gotten better with each game in the series. And um, you know, he's without without him controlling the pace. You know, I don't I don't do what I do. Jay doesn't do what he does. Rudy doesn't do what he does. Fave the same way. You know, so for him to control the pace and control. The team, I think, is, is, is plays a, a huge role in, in our win. Houston had a five-point lead there in the third quarter, and the building got pretty quiet. What what turned it around? Um, <laughs> um, I think, you know, for us, it's, it's one to go home. You know, like it's this isn't like you have another game to kind of be like, all right, they got like no, we. We, we never lay down, like I said the other day, you know, and, you know, they've been up five before, you know, it wasn't like they were up 15, you know, but for us to continue to be in attack mode, um, they made their run, and for us, we just had to push back, you know, they're, they're a quality team, you know, they, they made it to the conference finals last year, they're not just going to lay over and let us just take a game, you know what I mean, so we got to stay aggressive and stay, we were, continue to do what we were doing, and, um, you know, Make, made shots, got stops, ran in transition, and I think we um, disrupted, disrupted them a little bit. I actually felt good about that. Um, they went eight for 13, I believe, from three-point range in the third quarter, and we were down three going into the fourth. So I felt, I felt pretty good about that going into the fourth because I felt like it was like a haymaker. They were trying to knock us out right there in the third, and we, we, we stood tall and, um, and, and, and took the punches and came out ready to play in the fourth quarter. So I felt like that was, that was their best punch of the game. Uh, going eight for 13 out of the halftime, and we, we, we just stand it. We, we had our own and, and came out in the fourth quarter and let them have it. 